Hello, everybody. This year looks uh, this year uh, rooms uh, looks full, so much better than last year. I'm happy. Uh, I would like to present something about uh, my project, Grab, uh, what's happening right now, and what our plans. Uh, my name is Daniel Keeper. I work for Oracle, and I am one, uh, I'm software developer and one of uh, Grab upstream maintainers. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, Grab maintainers at the beginning shortly. I would like to tell you what happened last year and uh, what's happening right now. And uh, also I would like to discuss with you some of our pain points and problems which, which we have currently in the project. And, uh, and at the end I would like to ask you for some input. Uh, not much changed uh, since last year. Uh, there are three uh, uh, active uh, Grab maintainers. Alex and I work for Akul. I mostly focus on upstream development. As you may saw, I usually try to review uh, your patches and apply uh, as quickly as possible. This is quite difficult because I do also some other work for our company. Alex focusing on uh, development for uh, for our grab development for our company, but uh, is slowly moving to to upstream. Uh, Vladimir is uh, most uh, experienced among us and uh, help us to to uh, to get more involved in in the project and to with some uh, technical issues which are not uh, which which we do, do not know some some, some things. So what happened last year? We took a lot of new features. Uh, one uh, feature which was uh, done for Debian folks, uh, for Debian folks is uh, support for Spark uh, 64 and uh, other IEEE uh, things. Uh, we have all, uh, most uh, all patches uh, in upstream. Uh, we are waiting for some disk driver which should be developed. I've asked uh, Eric Snowberg who, who works for Oracle to, uh, to do some fixes for these patches. Uh, there were also a lot of uh, arm changes, fixes, and cleanups. Uh, mostly, the, uh, uh, this work was mostly done by Leif uh, from uh, Linaro, and uh, I suppose that uh, there will be also much more uh, patches coming. Uh, there was also uh, support uh, for multiple uh, LINIT RD images. And uh, this was prepared by uh, Robin and Matthew. Gra Grab probe uh, got part UD uh, detection support from uh, Nicholas. And uh, XFS uh, got some support for sparse uh, inodes. This was quite a simple part, but I think it is worth mentioning because some people use that feature on uh, XFS. Uh, Butterfest got uh, some uh, quite interesting new features. Uh, there was a lot of work happening uh, for write 5 and write 6 supports. Uh, this uh, work was done by Gifrado. Uh, Butterfest also got uh, ZSTD uh, support from uh, Nick uh, who works, from, uh, who works from, uh, for uh, Facebook. Uh, uh, we also worked on some uh, security features for, for Grab. Uh, first of all, Grab uh, got Verifies framework. Uh, this work was uh, this this feature was initially prepared by uh, by Vladimir, but uh, he was uh, busy with other stuff. So I took over the, the project and uh, I added some uh, fixes and cleanups and some uh, extensions. And uh, we got this uh, at the end of uh, last year. On top of this, uh, we put uh, UFI uh, secure, uh, secure Boot Shim support and uh, UFI TPM uh, Y.2 and 2.0 from Matthew, Matthew Garrett. It looks that some people are testing this, f uh, this feature because uh, we got uh, recently some fixes for, for, for uh, TPM driver. And Jürgen Gross from SUSE added PVH uh, support. Currently it works. Uh, it was tested by one guy. Uh, so it, it seems that it, it is working. And of course, on top of that, uh, we had uh, a lot of fixes and uh, cleanups uh, for, for Grab. Uh, what's happening? Um, Currently, uh, we quite closely cooperate with Trenchbrook Project. The Trenchbrook Project is um, the the goal of this project is to use all 
security features which are currently available on x86 platforms. So I think, I'm thinking about UFI Secure Boot, uh, TPM, TXT, uh, etc. Uh, this is currently work in progress. Uh, we have all features which are needed for, for this project in Grab. But uh, we also are working on uh, U root changes, uh, Linux kernel changes, and other module which is needed to, to have uh, to have this project working. Uh, you can take a look at the GitHub uh, page, and you can get more information about uh, this project. If you would like to get involved, uh, you are welcome. As I said at the beginning, there is still uh, work happening around IEEE. Uh, disk driver, which is uh, done by Eric. Sadly, it is, he is involved in other stuff uh, for our company. Uh, Alexander from SUSE is working on RISC V or, or RISC V, it depends. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, Colin Watson from Ubuntu posted recently some patches for uh, easier integration of GNU lib with, with Grub. Uh, Andre from ARM uh, reposted patches for DHCP support because currently Grab does not support <coughs> DHCP, just only boot P. Uh, this is quite surprising, but, uh, mm, but it, it works in that way. So we would like to improve that. Uh, this work was taken over from Andre, who, was, uh, he, who is busy uh, with other stuff. And uh, never-ending story, UFI MN uh, MNP driver. Uh, from time to time, people come back to us and say that uh, currently existing implementation for, for SNMP doesn't work, and uh, it shouldn't work. So we would like to get this driver. This will solve all or most of uh, boot issues on UFI uh, 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 platforms, uh, boot uh, over, over network, of course. Uh, but uh, we would like to, to, to leave uh, uh, as an option SNP support. So main support will be MNP, and then if it doesn't work, then, uh, um, then Grab fall back to SN, uh, SNP. <coughs> and uh, Grab 2.04 release. Uh, there is more and more questions coming to us. Uh, I had a lot of discussion about that uh, recent, uh, yesterday. Uh, initially, we thought that we would like to have some some uh, some uh, uh, features uh, complete in our gap up, uh, upstream, but it looks that uh, people expect uh, uh, earlier release and do not care about um, about uh, complete features right now. And uh, um, in general, as I can see, it is more expected that uh, we will be releasing in time than uh, with uh, future comp uh, complete uh, things. So uh, probably I will discuss with other, other my tenders today, and we will take a uh, decision uh, shortly. And uh, for, for sure, we will announce this on Grab Devel. Uh, what are our pain points right now? Mm, we try to increase uh, patches review throughput and decrease response delay. This is quite difficult uh, for us, because not so much people are reviewing patches, and mostly I. So, uh, so this, this, is, this, this is difficult, and uh, I would like to ask uh, people to uh, take a look at patches uh, at their area of expertise. This w would help much. Even uh, we are thinking about splitting uh, responsibility to different, to different uh, areas and uh, to get some sub or something like that. We will be discussing that. Uh, anyway, I think that situation uh, last year improved. Uh, as you may saw, we got uh, many new features, and uh, we will be working for sure on improving the, uh, uh, the situation. Uh, another goal, which we uh, uh, another project which kicked off uh, with Alex, uh, the, the, this is a reduction of number of patches, custom patches needed by various distros uh, to make Grab Upstream uh, usable. Uh, the worst situation currently is uh, in Red Hat at Fedora. Uh, they uh, have about two, more than 200 patches, custom patches, with uh, va va various things. And um, we, um, uh, during uh, the FOSDEM conference, discussed that. We go through all, all of them. 
and uh, some of them uh, looks quite uh, interesting for, for, for the project to, to, to get it upstream, but some of them uh, are not, uh, let's say, are mm, distal specific, so for sure we will, will not, will not uh, take, uh, take them. And uh, this also is quite close to improving the overall cooperation with distros. We would like to be closer uh, the, to the distros, to the uh, distros maintainer, and would like to the get more input from the, and more input and more more, more help. Um, during uh, uh, after introduction of verifying Fermoc, we had a huge fallout because we touched a lot of things and uh, by mistake uh, broken sa some uh, some other platforms and features. Um, and uh, this showed that we need some uh, some kind of script or some kind of solution which will help to discover at least uh, uh, build problems. Uh, so currently I'm going on the script which can be used um, on, on my platform, but I'm going to, to upstream it. It should be quite simple and f uh, easy to, con to configure. So this way uh, almost everybody on uh, own platform will be test uh, all or some platforms. Of, of <coughs> course, I'm also trying to uh, introduce uh, support for, for Travis, uh, and also it, it will be uh, uh, upstream. Another issue which we have is that some people start po uh, uh, posting the patches on, on, on the mailing list. I've, I've or other people ask to, uh, uh, to, uh, for, for, for some changes. And uh, after that, uh, people disappear and drop this work in the middle. Uh, this is this is bad because um, first of all, uh, these people uh, waste their time. We <laughs> waste the, uh, our time on reviewing the patches, and uh, and we uh, we also lose uh, a quite nice features, fixes, and and, and cleanups. Uh, and uh, additionally, because uh, due to our uh, workload, we are not able to take over this uh, work very often. So, so simply, this is this is this is uh, this harms our community um, uh, in a lot of ways. So, please treat us seriously and do not do that. And um, another thing, which is also related to development. Uh, it looks that some people doesn't doesn't read our comments uh, carefully. I understand that uh, some patches are quite quite long, and uh, you can you can miss some comments. But uh, very often I see that uh, some co half of the comments are taken into the account, and half uh, comments uh, are skipped silently. I understand that some of them may not may not agree with with my or uh, my colleagues' uh, comments. So uh, if you do not agree, just complain. But if you uh, uh, if you think that it makes sense, please take into the, to the account and uh, uh, please post the patches with with all things uh, fixed. Because uh, I, I, uh, once again, this also uh, waste our time and uh, um, does doesn't help to to uh, to uh, improve the project. And uh, at the end. Uh, I would like to ask you uh, uh, for some input uh, to the project. First of all, uh, what do you think about current work? Uh, uh, what we are doing well? What we, what, what we should improve? And uh, do you think that our priorities are, uh, are the same as yours? Um, and uh, we, are, we ask for some help uh, because, um, as I told you, this is, this is difficult wor work and uh, there is a lot of work which should be done, and uh, for sure, we as a maintainers, we are not able to do all, 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 of, all of this work. So I'm waiting for your questions. Yes? Getting back to your like, abandoned patches question and the lot of work pending, do you have a wiki or something where somebody can come and find this abandoned work? Uh, uh, somebody can pick up something which was abandoned? Uh, Partially, we have a we have a bug uh, uh, website, uh, which is which is uh, integrated with GNU, and uh, some of this work, which should be taken over, is on this backlist. 
but uh, as, as I told you, this is difficult for us to maintain a, a wiki or something like that because we are currently focusing on, on uh, let's say, taking the code uh, and reviewing the code, and this is difficult. But I, I think that it, 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 it would help to have a wiki, for okay. sure. Any other question? Yep. What are your feelings towards the bootloader specification that Fedora is driving forward to make sure you don't have to write a new work configuration in case when you install the new kernel? Is that something you want to pick up or is that ah, something you don't care about? Uh, 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 yes, sure, sure. Uh, the question was what were our feeling ab uh, about bootloader specification? Uh, is, that, uh, is, is it correct? Yeah, yeah. okay, thanks. Uh, when we were, we were looking uh, at the Red Hat and Fedora patches, we saw a lot of patches for uh, bootloader specification. Uh, this is not our target for in the new future, but for sure we will be working with that because uh, uh, at least yesterday one guy was asking about that. that uh, so I think that we'll be working with that. But Vladimir, I think that you can say more about yeah. that. Any other question? Yes? Actually, more of a comment. Um, I've, got, I've got a couple of patches in Grub. I can say that the development process, at least for me as a distro person, has clearly improved recently. Thank you very much for your efforts in going through the patches with people. Okay. Um, it's much easier to get things in than it used to be, and it's definitely great to see work going on and good constructive reviews of people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Specifically, the thing goes to, uh, to Daniel because I, I have to admit it was my fault that it was so difficult to, to get patches because uh, I, when, when I was a student, it was kind of okay to find enough time for it, mm. but uh, then uh, with, with work, it, work and family, it became but way more difficult. It's, it's hard. We all, we all understand that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank you. Obviously, you mentioned about the, the, the big stack of Red Hat Fedora patches, and you know, I know all of the distros have a stack of patches. Um, it's going to take time to go through and get all of those things merged, and hopefully, they don't diverge too far. Yeah. Uh, if we can get more, you know, more common stuff. <laughs> okay. The, the, uh, the question, the, uh, the question. We just started with Red Hat because it has the biggest amount of patches. Sure. But we are going uh, to check every distro. And, uh, well, we are comparing the patches. And obviously, some patches are present in each and every distribution. And actually, uh, it is already the case. Yeah. Like, should we want to uh, Debian and Red Hat, they have the same, exactly the same patches. Uh, yeah. But after all, we are going to go through each and every distribution. <laughs> Well, not for every distribution on the world. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> every major distribution. Uh, and the, the one of uh, the, the big patches which are carried by the distro is a secure boot. Yeah. 
and that's something that Daniel took care of for um, the question was uh, about uh, taking all uh, the specific uh, patches which are in distros. Uh, I would say that uh, um, that the worst thing is, uh, let's say the worst thing, <laughs> uh, is uh, Fetra, uh, uh, Red Hat and Fedora. Uh, I think that Debian uh, and other distros uh, uh, has much less uh, uh, di uh, specific, distro specific patches. Uh, our goal is, as, uh, as uh, Alex told, uh, we would like to compare this list which we prepared, which we discussed uh, during the FOS, uh, before the FOSDEM, and compare with other distros. And at first, we will be taking uh, the most important patches and uh, the smallest one, because I think the smallest one it will be much easier to get uh, uh, and quicker to get to, to the upstream. So this is this is the goal. But as you said, this is a long-term project. This is not, for, I suppose, that uh, it will take one year or something like that. It depends how many people will be involved uh, uh, in that. And uh, for sure, we would, uh, we would like to ask for help uh, distro maintenance in, the, in this thing. At first of all, we will we'll initialize the discussion. And then we will, I, I hope the, that we will split the, the work among uh, these people. Okay, and any other questions? Actually, then, then you know, should it be your task to take patches from this road and push them into your own upstream? It's reversed on the way it should work. Uh, yeah, I think uh, this is, uh, let's say, uh, we would like to, let's say, uh, coordinate this work. I'm not going to uh, repost this, this patches, let's say. Okay. I, I think that Alex point is good and we will be discussing that, uh, that I think. Uh, well. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, uh, five <coughs> minutes left. Five minutes. Sorry, five minutes left. Uh, any other questions? What would you like to be done before the next release? 
I think we, the question. Sorry, I will repeat it because we are recording. There was a question, as I far uh, uh, as I understood correctly, what we are going to do before the next release, right? And what we are going to take in the next release, right? I think that, uh, sorry, uh, I, I think that we'll be discussing this today, and uh, we will take decision uh, uh, quickly because I think that this, this is this is the problem for for people. So I would like to solve this uh, quite quickly. Yeah, we don't want to give the exact answer because it would commit us to something. And, uh, yeah. This probably is something that we do not want right uh, now. But but uh, um, give us uh, uh, some time, and we will post shortly uh, our decision on the grab devil. So please, uh, um, uh, please stay tuned. Yep. So, what thoughts do you have about CI? Um, you know, regular testing on. Travis. Okay. What thoughts do you have about real CI? Actually testing on a variety of machines, that kind of thing. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm not sh sure that I understand the, uh, the question. Could you repeat? Yeah, it's Travis Lee. Yeah. So it's a yeah. Uh, okay. So in terms of continuous uh, testing ah, yeah. of, of, of builds and whatever on real hardware, will Travis do that for you? Uh, I think that uh, at least some of work can be done uh, uh, by Travis, and I told that we are. Uh, I'm going to uh, take a look at Travis too. Okay. Uh, this, this, is, this is the goal. The question was sorry. The question was about uh, CI uh, testing and integration, and uh, thus uh, Travis will help us to uh, to test uh, uh, Grab. I think that it will help at least some. Okay. Anything else? Okay, thank you for coming.